The original recovery goal for wolf populations in the state of Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming combined was 300 total animals. In 2019, the Idaho Fish and Game Department launched a new system for counting wolves. The 2019 count for Idaho alone was 1,541 wolves. We had a record harvest year that year by sportsmen and wildlife services and control efforts. And I believe we removed 586 wolves that winter. And the following year's count was 1,556. So on our best record harvest year for trying to control wolf numbers, the wolf population actually grew. Management is such an important part of everything that we have going here in Idaho. One thing people don't like to manage is predators because they have this soft spot for predators and that's great, you know. I respect wolves probably more than most people can even begin to understand. But just like elk or deer or bears or mountain lions, they all have to be managed correctly in order for them to have healthy populations. I don't want wolves to eat themselves to death. I don't want them to starve to death. I want them to have an abundant amount of elk and deer to eat. Wolves have a profound effect on whatever ecosystem that they happen to be living in. And it's a, a lot more dynamic than what I think most people realize. You know, I grew up watching National Geographic and I honestly believed that wolves only killed the sick and the weak. I really believe that wolves helped keep big game populations healthy. What I've learned since having wolves live in my backyard for the last 10 years is that's not the case. They say that uh, average wolf consumes 20 uh, elk-sized big game animals a year for an average lifespan of seven years for approximately 140 big game animals that are consumed in a wolf's lifetime. Unfortunately, wolves also kill far more than what they consume. Oftentimes, they're, they're traveling across the countryside, they cross the landscape and something gets up and takes off running. They instinctively give chase. When they give chase, they catch up to the animal. When they get to it, they start chewing on it. Um, once they've started chewing on it, they draw blood. The animal falls down when it can't mobilize any longer. Well, the wolf didn't chase it down because he was hungry. The wolf didn't chase it down because he intended to kill it. He chased it down because it ran. And now he's caught it, he's got it maimed, it's down on the ground, and he loses interest and he wanders away. My name is Justin Webb. I'm the Executive Director for the Foundation for Wildlife Management. We are a 501c3 nonprofit that's based in Sandpoint, Idaho. Um, and we have since expanded across the state of Idaho and into Montana and soon to be in Wyoming. A lot of people ask me about the name, the Foundation for Wildlife Management, and I try to take them back to the concept of what we identified as a problem, and that was the extremely successful reintroduction of wolf populations to Idaho. And as passionate sportsmen in the small town of Sandpoint, Idaho, we started seeing moose in the winter months with their hamstrings chewed off, left suffering in the ditches of the snowmobile trails. We started seeing our elk ran out of the back country and down into the river bottoms and around our residential areas where they then were causing problems with agriculture and um, crops and things. And we wanted to make a difference. We got our first wolf seasons um, when wolf harvest became legal. And we thought as passionate sportsmen locally there that we would be able to go out and, and make an impact and reduce our wolf numbers that were causing these problems and we went out and we spent a whole ton of time and effort and money and energy the first season and we didn't harvest any wolves at all. Less than one percent of hunters will ever shoot a wolf and less than one sixteenth of that one percent will do so on purpose. Most of the wolves that are harvested in the state of Idaho I would say are harvested by individuals who happen to be deer or elk hunting and just happen by chance to run into the wolf pack in their area while they're in the field. Um, that happens pretty regularly. The Foundation for Wildlife Management is in Idaho and now in Montana and what we do is reimburse hunters and trappers for every wolf they get if they're a member. We do have guys that are willing to get back in the woods in December when deer and elk season's over. They're dedicating their time and effort and energy and their out-of-pocket money trying to control wolf populations so that you and I still have deer and elk to hunt. I want my kids to be able to go out and hunt deer and elk the same way that I grew up doing it. Something needs to be done in the near future 
for them to have that way of life that I grew up having.